Alright, what is going on my gamers? It's me, the same princess, coming back at you with a brand new video. Today, we are going to be going over the amazing new update that just dropped on Quest. That's right, version 71 is finally here, bringing some huge changes to pass through in a pretty cool way that mirrors the facial tracking on the Quest Pro on Quest 3. We're going to be going into all of that and more. Before we do, I just want to say I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. This is how many I currently have. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and like this video. Now, getting to the update. The first thing that they're bringing over is a brand new design layout. They are completely changing the way that everything looks inside of the menu, which is good because I always thought the last menu looked pretty bad. This looks a lot more sleek. I'll have to play around with it for a bit before I decide how much I like it. But so far, from what I've seen, it looks pretty cool. Next, they are adding this really cool AI feature which is able to estimate your facial movement just based off of what you're speaking into your microphone. So the AI will basically read your lips and using the inflection of your voice, it'll mirror those facial features in game. So if for example, you're yelling, the AI will recognize that based off of the high volume and using that knowledge, it'll mirror that same facial expression in VR, which is super cool because I always thought that the facial detection on the Quest Pro was one of its best features that I was sad did not carry over to Quest 3. In this update, they've also got ahead and improved travel mode on trains. Now, before, if you turn on travel mode, it was supposed to work with trains, but there was all kinds of issues with that. So this update improves that. I don't know a ton of people who use trains still, but if that's you, congrats. This update takes care of you. Now, part of the new design change is a brand new calendar app. Now, this is a calendar app that goes straight into your system. So I don't know if there's a huge demand for calendars in VR, but I have found myself searching calendar through the browser a few times. So even if it's not a huge thing, it's better to have than not have. Something that I am excited for is the new volume mixer. Now, if you're someone who does a lot of party calls, this is the feature for you. Basically, add a slider to control your in-game volume and your call menu. So now there is no singular bar. It's all separate for you. It makes your life easier. Yay! And speaking of Horizon Chats, you are now able to, and speaking of Horizon Chats, you're now able to share those super cool spatial videos and pictures through Horizon Chat, which is really awesome because I remember when they first dropped the spatial demo and I just wanted to watch as many of them as I can. And I've always felt pretty limited in that. So it's nice to be able to share the ones that we find with one another. And finally, the one that I am the most excited about is improvements to pass-through. Meta is claiming that they were able to improve the frame rate inside pass-through so it matches closer to what you see without the headset on. If you've ever noticed frame rate dips while using pass-through, especially when you get close to your head, this update is fixing that. And I just want to say it is incredible how far pass-through has come since the original days on the Quest 1, to the first color pass-through on the Quest Pro. And then considering how the Quest 3 launched, and one of the biggest complaints about it was how grainy the pass-through looked. And then compare that to now, where pass-through looks pretty good. It's still obviously not one-to-one -one with the real world. And to be honest, that'll probably never happen with the VR headset but it brings it closer, which just means using it feels a whole lot better. That's all of the big features from this update, but leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite one was. That's all for me, folks. I'm the Satan Princess, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.